Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Marcel Sabitza is on his way to Manchester for his medical. He's happy for Old Trafford move. Um, Eric Ten Hag has spoken to Marcel Sabitza over his loan move to Manchester United. That's according to journalist Jonathan Schrager. Uh, Chelsea also made an inquiry, but he preferred to move to Man United over Chelsea. Marcel Sabitzer is a central midfielder. Well, he can play in various positions, so he's well known for his versatility. Bayern Munich got Marcel Sabitzer back in 2021 from RB Leipzig. Bayern Munich got him for around 16 million euros. At the time he officially signed for Bayern Munich, he signed a four-year deal. So that means he's under contract with Bayern Munich until 2025. By the way, this loan for Marcel Sabitzer doesn't include an option to buy. Obviously, Manchester United have done this because of Christine Eriksson's ankle injury. Christine Eriksson has been ruled out for at least three months with this ankle injury. So that means Eriksson will be out until April or early May. Don't forget Christine Eriksson left Old Trafford on cut crutches after suffering that ankle injury. He endured a bad challenge from Andy Carroll during the 3-1 win against Reading in the FA Cup. Andy Carroll, of course, got sent off. Christine Eriksson, though, will be a big miss for Man United. He's really made an impact since he come to the club. Eriksson has played 31 games in all competitions so far this season. Manchester United got Christine Eriksson on a free transfer <coughs> when he officially signed for the club. He signed a three-year contract. Um, it said earlier on today that Manchester United have been offered the chance to sign Yannick Carrasco from Atletico Madrid. You know, Atletico Madrid got Yannick Carrasco for around 16 million euros. Can play as a winger or a win back. But um, when Marcel Sabitza is official, that will obviously be Eric Tenag's third signing of the January transfer window and obviously it'll be his final signing I should imagine because the transfer window closes tonight at 11pm so in this window yep he's brought Weg Austin on loan Marcel Sabitzer on loan and Jack Butland on loan this January transfer window has been Eric Tenag's second transfer window as Man United manager you know, revert back to last summer, Tenar brought the likes of Terrell Molassi in, Christine Eriksson, Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro, Anthony and Dubrovka. Eric Tenar has spent over £200 million as Manchester United manager. You know, he has let a lot of players go as well. You know, Eric Tenag. You can see the progress he's made since he became Manchester United manager. You know, 
look what he's done so far this season. And this is his first full season, you know, got us to the fifth round of the FA Cup, got us to the Carabao Cup final, more or less, and got us in that top four. I revert back to the start of this season. I did say that Eric Ten Hag's expectations this season is to get Man United a top four finish. <laughs> but Eric Ten Hag wants a trophy. He's made that clear. And he said after the 3 1 win against Reading that Man United are building towards ending trophy drought. Man United have not won a domestic trophy for six years. But Ten Hag has been the United manager for almost 10 months. He got appointed in as the United manager back in April last year. He's under contract with Man United until 2025. He's our fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Last year, Eric Ten Hag got named Premier League Manager of the Month. Don't forget, Eric Ten Hag was the one that recommended Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren in. Revert back to when Eric Ten Hag was at Ajax, he did very well because he won every device titles, won Dutch Cups back in 2019, got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals and he developed the young players well. And before Ten Hag manager likes of Utrecht, buy Munich's reserves and go ahead, Eagles. <laughs> Of course, you already know the news regarding Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Sir Jim Ratcliffe cannot afford United. Um, it said not so long ago that Man United Chiefs are not convinced about Sir Jim Ratcliffe's plans to buy Manchester United. He said Sir Jim Ratcliffe was planning what a £4 billion bid. The Glazers looking for around £6 billion. The Glazers will not drop their £6 billion asking price. Uh, don't forget the Glazers are likely to share entire shares of the club. Sorry, they're likely to sell entire shares of the club. The club's aim to be sold by the summer transfer window. But the Glazers have been a massive issue with the club for such a long time and that explains why for such a long time United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 17 years. They bought the club for around... 790 million back in 2005. In all sort of Man United, you've got Richard Arnold, John Murtough, Benny McCarthy. A while ago, Sir Alex Ferguson came back to Man United in an advisory role. We've got Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren, like I mentioned. Eric Ten Hag is the manager. <clears throat> so there you go and um, you obviously know the news regarding Harry Maguire uh, Harry Maguire decided to turn down a move to Inter Milan to fight for his place at Manchester United he said Inter Milan made an inquiry about taking Harry Maguire on loan from Manchester United um, Anthony Alanga, he's received 10 offers. So, yeah. So, now, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.